Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Welcome to the lesson. We are going to jump right in. But uh, before we do, if you haven't yet and you want to know when I go live and um, when I post new lessons, you can go subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, I think we just reached 10,000 students on YouTube. So thank you very much. We have about 50,000 on Facebook. Thank you guys so much for participating. Oh, hello everyone. Oh no, for some reason, uh, your uh, profile pictures are all broken. Oh no, what happened? Hello everyone. So um, I can see your names uh, for the people in the chat right now. I can see your names, but I can't see your um, profile pictures. <gasps> Uh oh, that's going to be a little bit difficult, but <laughs> you all look the same. Okay. Hello, Ali. How are you? Yeah, yesterday was a really busy day for me, so I didn't uh, put out enough lessons. I'm so sorry. Um, but uh, I'm here today, so let's jump into the lesson, okay? We're going to be learning three advanced English vocabulary words. And uh, like I said before, we had a quiz on YouTube um, for those of you who haven't watched the previous advanced vocabulary, vocabulary lessons. Um, these vocabulary words are on the advanced vocabulary quiz on YouTube. So if you uh, search for that, um, you'll be able to take the quiz. So after this lesson, try and take the quiz and see how well you do, okay? So, um, today's words, we're going to look at these three, okay? So, we have facilitate, 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 impede, can you say impede, impede, and trivial, 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 okay? So, these three words. Does anyone know these three words? Do you know at least one of them? Hello, welcome. Hello from Jordan. Okay, hello from the Philippines. Hello, guys. So these words might be all new for you. That's okay. Uh, we can look at them together today. So um, facilitate. Let's look at the first one. Facilitate is a verb. So to facilitate and to facilitate something or someone uh, means that you're making, um, you're making a process easier for someone. Okay, so facilitate a process, facilitate something means making something easier. Okay. Very good. Okay. Yeah, we can facilitate uh, learning new vocabulary by making lessons like this. Okay. Uh, the next one is impede. Impede. So this is also a verb to impede. To impede. So uh, impede is the opposite of facilitate. So if facilitate means making something easier for someone. Impede is the opposite. It means um, uh, making something more difficult or delaying something, okay? We'll look at this a little bit more in a second. The last one is trivial, trivial. So trivial is an adjective, adjective. And trivial means um, something that is unimportant or insignificant. So trivial is the opposite of important. Okay, trivial. All right. So uh, let's look at uh, our big whiteboard really quick. Okay. So you can see it a lot easier, I think. All right. So facilitate, facilitate. Make an action or process easy or easier. And it's a verb. Okay, to make an action or process easy 
easier. So in a way, helping something happen, helping something happen. Okay. Impede. Impede, remember, is the opposite of facilitate. It means uh, to delay or prevent someone or something by obstructing them, obstructing them. A similar word is hinder, hinder. If you hinder someone, you are impeding them. You are delaying or preventing something from happening, okay? Then uh, trivial, trivial. This is an adjective. So trivial means of little value or importance. A similar word, it would be uh, insignificant, insignificant. So trivial is the opposite of important. Okay, is that making sense for you guys? Do you understand facilitate, impede, trivial? Okay, so we have just three questions today. We'll get them done pretty quick and then you guys can try and make sentences on your own. Okay, so. Let's look at number one. His fear of failure is starting to his progress. Number one, let's see who can get it. His fear of failure is starting to his progress. So you can write your answer uh, in the chat, in the comments, very good. Oh, Mario, good job. Ali Awan, very good. Muhammad, excellent. Yes, you guys are so good. Okay, his fear of failure is starting to impede, impede his progress. So his fear of failure. So when you're afraid of failing, when you're afraid of making mistakes, this will hinder or delay or prevent, impede someone's progress, right? Oh, Tetetwin, hello. So um, fear of failure. So this is something that a lot of students, number one, a lot of students have difficulty with. They are afraid of failing, of failing. They are afraid of making mistakes. And when you're afraid of those things, it starts to impede your progress, okay? So don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid of failing, okay? All right, number two, they were arguing over hmm, matters. They were arguing over hmm, matters. So I have an American accent. So this word, it has T's here. These T's are a flap T in American English. So we say, we, it sounds like a D sound. Matters, matters. They were arguing over, so uh, fighting over, arguing over, hmm, matters. Okay, excellent. That one should be pretty easy because we need an adjective here. What kind of matters? Trivial matters. Have you ever gotten into an argument with someone and uh, you don't even remember what you were fighting about because it was so trivial. It was so not important what you were fighting about. So they were arguing over trivial matters. So what they were arguing about was not really important, okay? Excellent. I think everybody um, argues over trivial matters from time to time, right? Okay, number three. Teachers can mm, learning by connecting lessons to real world situations. Teachers can learning by connecting lessons to real world situations. Oh, very good. Excellent. I see some correct answers. Yes. Okay. So this one should be the easiest. We have just one word left. Teachers can facilitate, facilitate, okay. Teachers can 
facilitate learning by connecting lessons to real world situations. So teachers can make learning easier. The process of learning English can be made easier by teachers when the teacher connects lessons to real world situations, okay? So uh, if you ever had a math class, math for some people is very difficult. Uh, sometimes you can't even imagine, right, when you would use that math. But maybe a very good math teacher can facilitate learning math by connecting the math to real life situations, right? Real world situations, okay? So instead of thinking abstractly, you can think about the real world. All right, very good. So again, facilitate, impede. These are opposites, opposites. Trivial is the opposite of important. Facilitate and impede are both verbs. Trivial is an adjective. Okay, so uh, if you want to make some example sentences, I have a few minutes to spare, so I can check some of your sentences. But remember, when making the sentences, uh, remember that these two are verbs. This is an adjective, okay? So we can't say too trivial, too trivial. We can't say that, all right? Okay, so if you want to make some sentences, facilitate, impede, uh, trivial. I can try and take a look at them. I only have a few minutes, so I can only look at a few sentences, okay? Oh, hello everyone. Hello from Sudan. Ah, very good. Okay, oh, hello from Myanmar. Oh, we have a, we have a big sentence. See, I can't... Uh, I cannot see your picture. I don't know if you can see your picture. All of the pictures are broken from the Facebook chat. Okay, so his teacher facilitated him to speak English fluently, uh, but his fear of his friends to mock at him impede him to do so, and a consequence got swamped into trivial excuses. Okay, a very long sentence. So um, we could say, uh, his teacher facilitated um, his English fluency, for example, uh, but his fear of his friends to mock at him. So we wouldn't say to mock at someone. We say to mock someone. So you could say, um, but his fear uh, that his friends would mock him impede him to do so for example. Very good. Okay. Great long sentences. Uh, let's see. Oh, 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 Ah, interesting. You should facilitate the life. Don't impede it. Yeah, you could say you should facilitate life. Don't impede it. Yeah, very good. Ah, my mother can facilitate learning me how to make a mail by giving me advances. Hmm. Ah, okay. I think I understand your sentence. My mother can facilitate learning. So we don't say learning me, learning me. Um, my, and then how to make a mail by giving me advances advances. Do you mean your mother teaches you how to be a man because she gives you advice? Do you mean advice? Um, I'll try, if you can correct the sentence a little bit, I can try and help you uh, in a second. Okay. Oh, question. Why can't we say too trivial? Sorry, it was late for class. So um, you can say something is too trivial with T-O-O. -O. I meant that you can't say T-O trivial, like as a verb, okay? So trivial is an adjective, so it can be like too trivial. Your argument is too trivial. Don't bother me with those trivial things. Um, but you can't use trivial with 
the just T-O in front of it, okay? I hope that uh, makes sense. If you facilitate the job to others too much, they might become lazy. Yeah, very good. So if you facilitate, maybe facilitate work or something like that, maybe you work together with coworkers, but if you are facilitating everything, uh, maybe the others might become lazy. It is a possibility. Yeah, if you make it too easy for someone. Okay. Oh, this is a great one. Okay, my project manager is a decisive leader. That's very good. We learned decisive quite a long time ago. Decisive. So they're they're quick to make decisions. My project manager is a decisive leader because he can facilitate a good project within an hour. Wow, very good. You're using the uh, older vocabulary. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, you should read books instead of a trivial game. Yeah, so uh, just be careful because you should read books. So read, read books instead of a trivial game. So what are we doing with the trivial game? We are playing a game, okay? So read books, play a trivial game. You should read books instead of playing a trivial game. Very good, okay. Ah, you meant a meal. Okay, okay. So maybe you can say, um, oh, I've already forgotten your sentence already, but uh, my my mother facilitates learning uh, by uh, cooking you meals. So that means you have more time for learning. Is that what the sentence was? Good job. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yes. Okay. All right, so um, that's it for today's lesson because I have to get going, but um, yes, we're gonna have a lesson again later today on YouTube, of course. Um, so stick around, subscribe for that, and I will see you guys in a little bit, okay? Thank you very, very much, and I will see you in a few hours. All right, bye everyone.